god, y'all want some Halloween candy? Too bad there's no Halloween candy in here. Okay, so look, if y'all like look at my head and see like water dropping or something, I promise you it's not sweat. It's <laughs> just got out the shower and my hair is still wet. Um, anyways, I just got out the fucking shower and I just thought about this story time. So I was just like, oh my God, I might as well stay tell this fucking story time. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Tyler Leduff and I'm back with another video today i have a story time video for y'all probably a little bit juicy i'm gonna try and include some camera footage up in here y'all i have a wild fucking story to tell y'all i don't even know where to begin really okay yes i do i just you know, I do a little bit of OnlyFans here and there, you know what I'm saying? You can go ahead and subscribe in the link below if you want to subscribe to it. Also, follow me on Instagram so that whenever I'm not posting YouTube videos, you can always be caught up with my everyday life and my crazy shenanigans. You can also follow me on Twitter, too. Yeah, follow me on everything. Yeah, go ahead and do that. I have two separate twitters you know almost everybody nowadays has their own regular twitter and then they have their freak twitter well child i was on my freak twitter and i have been talking to this profile i'm gonna call him a i've been talking to this profile for like well this dude two and a half months you know like he's been subscribed he's been paying money he's been like complimenting me whatever it just got to a point where i just kept on replying to him and then it just became like this natural thing to where it was like oh let's just talk like every day if not every day then every other day it just became this normal daily routine of mine like i'm just like okay so this is a friend now you know we even talked about us like linking up in person one day because he was in the same area as me da, 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 da. and you know i'm really 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 skeptical about meeting up with people i'd be like mm, if the vibe ain't right i really just don't want to like message you you know some of you are like uh-huh after talking to him for so long i actually started like thinking he was like a little bit cute or whatever you know you know man whenever you just start talking to people you just like maybe you are actually kind of cute maybe i maybe if you ever ask me, I will give you a chance. So it was kind of like that. I mean, this guy, he was tall. You know, I, I like, I don't really like him too much taller than me. Like I'm 5'9", like a good 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 That's like within the perfect like height range for me or my height. Whenever you get to six foot, you're kind of just looking like a little bit janky. It was just like, mm, it's just, I don't really know. You're just real lanky. So I, I asked him whenever we first started talking, I was like, so how tall are you? Like, what's your age? He's like, oh, I'm 25 and I'm six foot one. Da, da, da. And I was like, okay, six foot one. I can work with it. I can work with it. Had a nice body, had abs, had chest, had everything, faces beat. Everything looks good. I was like, wow, you know, like you actually do kind of look good, but it just might be just too good to be true. Like you're just, you're just trying to get up in them jeans and it's just not gonna work because I'm trying to now protect my chakras and my aura from just randos. And you know, it took a lot of trial and error growing up, but now I'm good. Like I don't need just like a little sneaky link. Ah, okay, no wait. I may need a sneaky link every now and then. Child, now's not the time to have no sneaky link. <laughs> So just to give y'all a perception of how he looked like, that's like the description of him. He, I mean, he had a shit together, he had a job, he had his own place, like, so that he was telling me and stuff like that. It just sounded really, really good. And I've been like, God, I've been trying to manifest this. Thank you so much. Like, Jesus, you really do be looking out for me. Okay, cause I started doubting a little bit. <laughs> so it got to the point where he was just like, okay, so why have we never like linked up before? Why have we never like smoked? Why have we never drank? And I was just like, um, honestly, I'm just nervous. <laughs> He's like, what are you nervous for? And I'm like, I'm just nervous to like meet new people. Cause like, I've been hurt so many times. Like, Y'all, whenever you're hurt so many times in life, like your mind, your body just literally mentally and physically cannot take it anymore. You're just like, oh no, I'm, just, I'm out of it. Like, I don't even want to talk to you. Like you start developing social anxiety, but then you still want to socialize and stuff, but you're scared about getting hurt. You're just, it's just so much. So that's why I just don't really link up with people. I really don't even keep in contact with people anymore. I just, I literally don't. He was like, there's nothing to be scared about. Like, you know, I really, I really fuck with you and da, 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 and I really want to meet you. You know, I've been wanting to meet you, da, da, da. One night when we were having this conversation, I was drinking. I've been drinking. Like whenever I'm drinking, I'm more loose. Not loose like that, but like, you know, like, 
personality wise like i'm not as like tense i'm just like okay i'm relaxed i'm like okay whatever so he was like smooth talking me and stuff he was like why don't we play the game because you know i'm good at mortal kombat and injustice now look the first person shooters you can miss me with it first person shooters they're all the same game and i fucking hate it i'll give it a shot but i normally hate them so fucking much um but i'm good at fighting games so he would always antagonize me about like oh come over like um we can play mortal kombat if you really think that you're better than me da -da -da, whatever and i was like you know what you you met me on the you got me at the right time because i'm bored and i want somebody to entertain me so i was just like okay well if you're talking all that how about we meet in person for the first time and he was like word and i was like word i was like okay like this is great you know maybe maybe i can get me some good goods you know i'm just kidding <laughs> Whenever I'm on alcohol, I'll be thinking about that too, but I'm just like, no, friend. So he was just like, okay, so what did you want to do? And I was just like, well, what you just said, like, let's play Mortal Kombat. Let's, you know, drink a little bit. Let's just talk. Let's get to know each other in person for the first time. And he was just like, okay, smirk emoji. And I was like, why the smirk emoji? Because I'm like, I already know what that smirk emoji means. The smirk emoji means, you know, and he's just like, so you want to get to know each other. And I was like, not like that. I'm just saying like in person, like I know who you are over Twitter but I don't know who you are in person. And he was just like, oh no, you can get to know everything about me and this eight inch. And I'm like, okay, now I'm sober, I'm rolling my eyes. But whenever I was intoxicated, I was like, okay, that doesn't really flatter me, but all right. I was like, LOL, okay. So are you coming through? But deep down inside, I was like, I get enough drinks in my system. You looking that good. And you may just have to, <laughs> I may just have to do a little stuff, stuff in the knee. So I gave him my address and I gave him my phone number and my Snapchat. Like literally we've just been talking over Twitter. Like I literally don't, I, if you're talking to me on one thing, that is the only thing that you're ever going to talk to me on until we meet. So like, you better be glad I was even responding to you in my DM. So I gave him all that. He said, oh, you're a good like, 25, 30 minutes away. And I was like, damn, that's kind of far. 30 minutes away. Okay, but if that's what you want to do, you can come over here and drive. So, you know, I'm waiting. I'm all happy. Like, I'm getting the game ready. I just like, oh, what, what if we watch like a movie or something? You know, taking these shots over here, just like, mm -mm -mm. I'm feeling all bubbly. I just feel good. I just want to, ah, you know what I mean? Just, now, this is where it gets a little bit janky. I get a text from him and he says that he's here. And I was just like, oh, like you're here, like like you're outside my front door or what? And he's like, no, I'm not outside of your front door just yet, but I'm going to be walking. And I was just like, okay, just let me know whenever you're outside my front door. I have cameras in my house. Like you'll never get away with anything up in here. I have a camera outside of my door and I'm like, I get the notification on my phone that somebody is at my front door. So I look at my phone and I'm like, oh, like somebody is there, but where is he at? He then texts me and is just like, I'm outside of your door. And I'm like, girl, let me go back to this app. So I opened up my Ring Gamer app and I'm over here like looking at the live feed and I see somebody literally post it up. If I can find the video footage, I'll go ahead and put it and insert it here. But I'm looking and I'm like, who? Who is this? Whoever, whenever I was looking at my camera, I was like, I think you're at the wrong door. So I texted him, I was just like, I think you're at the wrong door. And he's just like, is this not your door, da 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 da? And I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all, it was not him. Now, at that moment, y'all would be like, call the cop. Go ahead and lock him the fuck out. Well, Thailand is stupid. And I went to the front door and I opened the front door. I opened up this door and it is a man about my height, chunky, like a hot ass fucking mess, pimples all over his goddamn face, these glasses. He literally looks like a kid that is in the movies that get picked on by the bully for being a nerd. And you know, I was being nice, I was like, hey! And he was just like, hello, and I was like, Jesus, I thought you was looking out for me. Child, I really thought you was looking out for me. Instead, you keep on playing with me. What in the fuck is this? Oh, I was like, are you A? And he said, yeah. And I'm like, I, bitch, I should have closed that door and walked the fuck 
inside my house and called the goddamn cops. But I said, oh yeah, come on in, come on. And he's like, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, you know, like, I just got catfished. I legitimately just got fucking catfished. Like, I cannot fucking believe this. Like, my heart shattered, like, everything. I don't even know why I let him inside. So I let him inside, and then I was just like, oh yeah, hey, this is, like, my kitchen. This is my living room. Like, oh, hello. Like, <laughs> hey, and I had the game up and everything. Like, candles lit, bottles out. Like, bitch, that ch this, this man right here ain't touching a goddamn hair on my body. Not whatsoever, not in this, not in this day and age, not in this lifetime. I don't even know who this is. I should have had my, where is my Glock? Let me go ahead and get my goddamn gun. Like, what? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? He's just like, oh, you have like a really nice place. And I was like, oh yeah, thanks. Like, please make yourself comfortable, whatever. And he's like looking at me up and down and like biting his lip. And I was like, oh my God, I want to throw up. This is absolutely disgusting. Maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if you were just like honest and upfront, but like who you actually are. Cause what the fuck? I cannot believe this is the first time that I invited a catfish into my goddamn house. Shouldn't have. So I was telling her, I had to come up with something quick. I was like, oh yeah, I gotta go in like 30 minutes. I'm supposed to be going out with my friends. And he's just like, oh no, like I really wanted us to hang out. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm going out with my friends. I'm so sorry. Like. Yeah, just sorry. So okay, well I guess we can play the game. And I was like, yeah, y'all. If I didn't have alcohol in my system, I don't know how how I would do it. Like we literally played the game, and I sat here and beat his ass every single time we played this game. And he's like, I guess you are just really better than me. I guess I'm blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh my god, I cannot believe I'm here doing this. So his thirty minute trial period was up because I looked at the clock and it was most definitely eleven o'clock, and he got here at ten thirty. Thirty minutes. Period. That was it. Done. Whatsoever. I said, oh, I, I gotta go. Like, I have to go get dressed. I still need to shower and everything. And he was just like, okay. And he started biting his lip, like, and looking at me. And I was like, are you gonna get your backpack? <laughs> like, can you get your backpack and please get the fuck up out of my goddamn house, please? And he just like, okay, well, I'm expecting to get a text and a call from you while you're drunk talking to me about everything that's going on. And, you know, I really want to come back and see you. Like, if it's not tonight, then I want to come see you tomorrow. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, go for it. Like, yeah, you can most definitely see me tomorrow or tonight. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God, stop biting your fucking lip and stop looking at me like that, you fucking catfish, weirdo-ass bitch. Like, get the fuck up out of my goddamn house. As soon as I walked into that door and closed it, I locked all them locks. I set my security alarm on. Baby, I went, blocked the number, blocked the Snapchat, blocked them on Twitter. Everything, everything is absolutely gone, erased. Never in a day I'm gonna see him ever again. When I wasn't going out that night, nobody wanted to hang out with me, shit. I was, I was staying my ass inside and I would continue to drink, watch some Netflix by myself and went to bed. Fast forward two days. My roommate is was not here. Like my roommate has not been inside of the apartment in like a minute. So one day it was thunderstorming outside. I'm talking about like, I thought there was going to be a fucking tornado. There's only one place in my house that I don't have a camera and it is my goddamn patio. I'm laying in bed and I'm hearing the patio door shake like 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 the wind is so powerful like I could have sworn like a hurricane or a tornado was gonna like push down this whole goddamn apartment building and I'm just laying there you know I'm just scrolling on my phone like enjoying a glass of wine and stuff and then my dogs start growling and look it's late at night too my dogs start growling and I'm like and Frankie, I got a pit bull. Babe, if you're ever in here, he, if, if I don't get you with my Glock, he gonna eat your ass. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Frankie's bark is so loud. It's like, whoo! It's like, it'll rumble you. It will wake you up out of your sleep. And Russ back over there, he got his back, but he ain't really gonna do nothing. Can you see Russ? Hey Russ. Jumped up out of my bed and went into my kitchen and was just like, like sniffing, I was like, oh my God, like what's going on? And y'all, I thought I was in a fucking scary movie because like my light started flickering. It was like, and I was like, uh-uh, like don't y'all dare. And I'm just like, oh, anyways, it's whatever, it's whatever. No, 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 it's cool. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. You're just overthinking things, you know? I was like, Frankie's just barking cause he's scared and, and you know, he's just hearing things. Then I started hearing Frankie's stuff outside, like in metal, I have like his cage and stuff outside. And I started hearing it rattle and I was like, okay, maybe it's the wind. But no, Frankie's like growling and barking some more. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then I could have sworn I heard, you know when like patio doors, they make that like whenever they open? Y'all, when I tell y'all, I thought I heard 
that goddamn thing open, I was like, there is absolutely no way that the wind is pulling this. So y'all, I, I went ahead and, let me go ahead. Bitch, let me go ahead and get my apple. Oh my god, if, if I gotta if I gotta bust this thing open, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to bust this thing open, you know what I'm saying? So like, oh my god. So y'all, I come out here and I'm like looking and Frankie is sitting at my patio door and like it's dark and like I see like reflections and stuff in my door. Tell me, oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps. Y'all, if I wasn't wearing the sweater, y'all would see the freaking goosebumps. Tell me why, A, this man is on my goddamn patio y'all whoo i got chills <laughs> this man is on my patio but whenever he realized that i saw him and i guess he saw my goddamn gun he fucking jumped off of my patio y'all i'm talking about jumped lunged off my goddamn patio and i'm over here like oh my god like i was so scared like my heart is pumping out of my chest i thought i was gonna have to kill somebody if i wasn't able to make out who this person was i was gonna have to shoot Somebody was gonna die today. And honestly, I don't need to be going to jail because they don't be treating black men good up in there, especially if you good looking and you gay too. Woo, child. I just really thought I was gonna have to go to jail. But that was literally him on my patio. I was just like, do I call the cops? Do I chase after him? Do I what? I don't even remember his number. Once you block somebody off Snapchat, it's like gone forever. I don't even remember. I was like, now I feel like I need to move and that my life is in danger. Who would be that crazy to try and break into your apartment? When it's thunderstorming outside, like a legit to fucking tornadoes outside. And the thing that comes to your head is let me drive 30 minutes to try and break into this man's patio. So ever since then, I've been having nightmares. I don't know what to do. Um, the police, they defunded the police in Austin, so they really don't give a damn unless they're sick, dead, or mute anyways. So they're not gonna do anything. Hopefully you're not watching this video. I may have to make a part two if you try some crazy shit again. I buried this story, it was, it was a month ago. I buried this story just because like, it felt like an eternity ago, but I have not been sleeping good since because I'm like, now I gotta sleep with one eye open. But Frankie got me, ain't that right Frank? Somebody go ahead and help me. The moral of the story is, do not give your personal information out to somebody. And yes, I already know what some comments are going to say. You didn't FaceTime them? You didn't call first? Nope, I'm a dumbass, but I most definitely have learned my lesson. Y'all, that's the end of the story time. Go ahead and like this video. Leave some comments in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new for more story time videos about my crazy ass life. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.